Company Binance will pay more than $4 billion in fines to resolve the Justice Department's investigation. And the CEO, who announced he's stepping down today, said he wanted to take responsibility for the mistakes he made. It's a strong message, and it is a historic day. Inside this federal courthouse, Changpeng Zhao, the founder and chief executive officer of Binance, pleaded guilty to failing to maintain an effective anti-money laundering program. Investigators say the company put its pursuit of profits over the safety of the American people. And by not putting anti-money laundering programs into effect, um, these executives put our financial systems at risk. In this case, also national security was at risk. Acting U.S. Attorney Tessa Gorman says money laundering activity was happening on the exchange. Doing transactions with people in sanctioned countries like Iran. In part because of the crimes it committed, Binance became um, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. Investigators found that Binance turned a blind eye to its legal obligations. And today, Zhao, who founded the company in 2017, told the court, I want to take responsibility and close this chapter in my life. Today on C-SPAN, Attorney General Merrick Garland said failing to take steps to prevent money laundering violated crucial laws. These laws ensure that our financial institutions are not available to designated terrorist organizations, drug traffickers, and sanctioned nation states that threaten public safety and our national security. From Washington, D.C. to Washington State. Hopefully it sends a strong message to the corporate community to make sure they put in effective compliance. Investigators say today's historic penalties mark a milestone for the virtual currency industry. The CEO said he surrendered willingly and showed up in court today pleading guilty to the felony charge. Both the defense and prosecutors say sentencing won't happen for at least six months. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, Ken 5 News.